Hi, I'm Dr. Wesley Shanklin, and I practice in Metropolitan Columbus, Ohio, and I treat people with craniofacial or temporomandibular joint pain. A common disorder I want to discuss with you today is something I see almost daily. It's probably the most frequent disorder I see, and maybe those who treat TMJ problems or facial pain elsewhere see as well. It's called temporal tendonitis. And what it simply is, is inflammation of a tendon that attaches this large temporalis muscle to my lower jaw. This inflammation can produce headache pain so bad it can incapacitate you. Uh, it's been called a migraine mimic in the literature. Uh, people can have this so badly they miss work, they miss school, uh, they can't think clearly. Uh, they have many of the symptoms, this disorder has many of the symptoms of migraine headache pain. It causes pain in and around and behind the eye. It can cause temple pain. It can cause pain in the lower jaw and the upper jaw, even pain where there's no dental, where there are no teeth. But here's the real thing, it can cause a pain or a pressure within your ear and you'd think you'd have ear caught in your ear. You'd think you'd have water caught in your ear like you would if you were swimming or in the shower. So temporal tendonitis is a very common disorder and I'm going to show you now a picture as to what the anatomy looks like. This is a picture of the side of the head. This is the temporalis muscle and this is the temporal tendon. Right here is where the cheek was but it was cut away for the drawing. Here is the lower jaw or the mandible. This is called the masseter muscle, which, which assists the temporalis muscle in closing the jaw so you can chew and bite your teeth together. You can see this large temporalis tendon as it attaches, or we say inserts, this large masseter, or this large temporalis muscle into the lower jaw right here at the coronoi process. This is where temporal tendonitis occurs. If this tendonitis occurs, and this inflammation occurs, it can cause pain in and behind the eye, the temple, which could mimic, mimic a migraine type of headache. It can cause pain in the side of the jaw, even into the ear. And many people complain of tooth pain, even if, they don't, even if they don't have any teeth. Just like phantom limb pain, if you cut a leg off, the nerves are still from the central nervous system to the stump. And the same with teeth. If you take a tooth out or do a root canal, the nerves from the central nervous system still go to that structure. So if you receive a blow to the jaw like a child's head or if you get hit playing sports or in a motor vehicle accident, if you open too wide going to the dentist for a root canal or oral surgery for example or a crown preparation, or if your jaw is open a long time to be intubated so you can be put to sleep for general anesthesia for surgery, that can damage, all those things can damage the temporalis tendon and produce temporal tendonitis which again can make you think you have migraine headaches and give you incapacitating type of headaches and especially pressure sensation within your ear. Showing a skull here, to treat temporal tendonitis is not difficult at all. The first thing we want to do is based upon your history, if I think or someone thinks you might have temporal tendonitis, we simply give a little local anesthetic injection right here at this coronary process where this large temporalis muscle touches or inserts into the lower jaw. Use a very small needle, use a topical anesthetic first, and put a little anesthetic there to try to turn off the nerve fibers. And if the pain gets better, if the ear seems like it clears, then that's a pretty good diagnostic test for temporal tendonitis. There are a couple others too, but primarily local anesthetic is the way to test for this. If that feels better, then we can put a therapeutic injection in here of some medication called Serapin, which is a non-steroid anti-inflammatory, along with some long-lasting anesthetic into the structure. We could do some other things like physical therapy, some massage therapy. We might use medications at times. We also may place an appliance in the front of the teeth called an NTI so you don't clench your teeth at night time. And sometimes we have to repeat these injections every two to three weeks for a short period of time. Just think of temporal tendonitis as a bursitis, if you will, of the elbow, where somebody bowls a lot or pitches a ball or is on an assembly line where they have repetitive injury to the elbow. This is the same thing here, repetitive injury from chewing, talking, laughing, having your mouth stretched too wide. We treat it just like your physician would, would with some anti-inflammatory medications. Uh, we reduce the motion with a splint or an anterior deprogrammer like an NTI here. And generally these resolve very nicely and most of the time people get over this rather easily if we treat this quickly. Once in a while they have to return every maybe three or four months or every six to eight years perhaps. We saw somebody today after 12 years. So you may have to return for further treatment, but most of all, it's treated easily, effectively. It's a very common disorder called temporal tendonitis. Thank you.